here because nearly 60 people from the Eastside Union High School District spent four days to learn new tools to uncover default ways of speaking and being and discover new ways to use language to create the future we want for our district and our students. And when I say that 60 people gave up four days, you got to know what a big, big deal that is because these are folks who, you know, have had basically had to start from scratch, reinventing their craft on distance learning. And, um, you know, the stress and the amount of extra time needed to prepare for their um, doing their job is just ex extraordinary now. And to ask them to give up a Friday and a Saturday and a Friday and a Saturday participate in this work is really uh, speaks volumes to their commitment to the district and and to um, and to our students ultimately so I thank them very much for that um, and I also want to acknowledge that there were over 120 people who contributed to making this work possible because um, you know we've had some budget challenges in the district and uh, somebody said to me early in the planning stages, like, why would we be talking about spending this kind of money on a training when we're also talking about having to lay people off? And I said, you know what, that's a really good point. So, you know, but I know there's people in the community who stand for this work and would support this work. And so I reached out and uh, we got a team of people together <clears throat> to, um, get folks to support the work and, and 120 people contributed. Some, you know, $20, $25, some $10,000, you know, a whole spectrum of folks. And many of them are here tonight. And so for, for you, for joining me and standing for this work, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, so just a little bit about the program. Uh, so like I said, that it was a Friday, Saturday, Friday, Saturday, and the last Saturday was just this past weekend. So this is, we're pretty fresh off of the experience. Um, it's, the training was based, or I'm, we call it a training, it's really, it's really more almost like a process or a program based on the book, Three Laws of Performance by Steve Zafron. If you haven't read the book, I recommend it. It's um, life altering. We were, you know, this is a course that was initially offered in person. Five of us attended two years ago, two and a half years ago, and a couple more of us went um, last year in June. Um, it's ordinarily something that would be offered in person, right? Um, but of course, uh, enter a global pandemic, and uh, we really had to work with what we had. And so we, we, the course was adapted and offered on Zoom. And I was terrified to do that, but you know what? It worked. It actually worked. So that was really great. Um, so for the four days, um, we had time to reflect on, on how things have been in the district and um, you know what things were not working well. We got, people got into communication and um, started to share, you know, deal openly with the challenges that, that have been showing up in, in our relationships. And uh, by the end, we made some new commitments to each other and we coalesced around our promise to our students. Like this is our, um, our mission statement, but you know, by the end of it, I really held like, this is not just a mission statement. This is a promise we are making to each one of our students. You know, each student graduates prepared for college and career, empowered to thrive in a global society. And like, what would it look like for every single one of us, no matter what our role is, to be committed to that? Um, so that was really great. Um, before we get into the sharing, uh, I, there's a couple of people that I would like to acknowledge who are on the call with us. Um, first, uh, Lois Yoon. Uh, Lois was our course leader, and um, she's been working with us for three years now to bring this about. Um, so, Lois, if you could just quickly say hi so we can see you on the screen. Hello. 
Hello. Hello, everybody. It's good to see you. I hope you've had a really good four days and have a thousand more days ahead of you. Thank you, Lois. Thank yeah. you. Thank you yeah, for your welcome. commitment to us and to this work. Um, it's, it's really inspiring. Um, I also want to acknowledge um, the core team. Um, this is the group of, of folks who um, went from the, from the district to uh, our first course with the Vanto group two and a half years ago, and, and then again last year. Um, and we've been meeting on a regular basis to keep this work going. Um, so Chris Funk, I'm not sure if Chris is on the call. Um, Alan Roberts, I see you. Just quick, say a quick hi so people can see who you are. Good evening, everybody. Thank you for joining us and thank you for your support. Um, Julio Pardo, just say a quick hi. Good evening. Thank you, Julio. Um, uh, Annabelle Velasquez, did you, were you able to get on the call? Hi, I'm here. Uh, thank you everybody for your support. Um, and really thank you for being here today, tonight. Thank you. Thank you, Annabelle. Thank you for your support. And um, Manuel Herrera is a, one of my colleagues from the board. Um, he was on that first initial team and he wasn't able to participate with us on the four days because of some legal issues, but uh, he has been a champion uh, for us um, keeping this work alive. So Manuel, if you're on the call, say hello. So um, I want you to know that I, I felt this going on every day of the four days. It's like, I would just suddenly stop and I go, oh, it's happening there. <laughs> and, you know, I was just kind of holding up in my thoughts, you know, um, that there would be an outworking for the, for the good. So good to see everybody. Thank you, Manuel. Uh, thank you for being my partner in this um, on the board. Uh, I also wanted to, you to know that there's a whole fundraising team that, you know, part of led me weekly meetings, uh, made lots of phone calls, um, forwarded emails and such. And so I just would like to recognize those people too. So if I, if you're on the call with me and I say your name, if you could just jump on and say hi, so everybody can see, you know, then you'll, you'll um, come into view. Um, so first and foremost, uh, two people that just work tirelessly, tirelessly with lots and lots of phone calls and emails and follow, dogged follow-up, um, Tom and Karen Ryan. If you're on the call, could you please say hi? Hi. <laughs> I'm so excited for the, what you all experienced. Very dedicated to this project. Karen, thank you so much. I, um, I, can't, I can't thank you enough. What you and Tom did was just extraordinary. Thank you. Um, another person who was um, tremendous inspiration for me and really helped kick the project into high gear is Nicola Dreos. Are you on the call? Okay, I'm not seeing Nicole. Uh, how about Julia Dieter? Yep, I'm here. I'm here. It's wonderful to, say, to, uh, to come to the uh, culmination of this, which is the beginning. And I really would like to hear the statement again, you know, powerfully and slowly, because that is so amazing. I'm, I'm just present to what's possible for the future of all of Santa Clara County and beyond, you know, that, that you all have taken the steps to come together and create a future is just, just I can't tell you how inspiring it is. And I'm so honored to be here. Thank you, Julia. You, you kept me going when uh, we talked about, Lois said the first day of our four day course, she said, this is gonna be a roller coaster ride. You know, there's going to be highs and lows, and you're going to go like this. And and uh, the roller coaster ride started for me when I said, "Fine, we'll just raise the money." And Julia has been through with me through all those ups and downs. So thank you, Julia. Um, yeah. I also want to acknowledge uh, others on the um, 
Raising team Shasta Erickson. I think you're on the call if you just quickly say hi. Hi. Thank you. Thank you for your commitment to this work, Shasta. Thank you. It's um, really an uh, honor to be part of this. Thank you. Um, Debbie Huynh. I'm not sure if Debbie's here. Um, how about Nick, Nick Leon, you're on the call. I am. Um, I would like to just say, you know, my name is mentioned, but it's the San Jose East Evergreen Rotary Club that's made uh, the commitment because they're so committed to the students and they knew what you were doing and it's nice that you use my name, but I think they ought to get the acknowledgement. Fully noted, thank you. Um, Manuel, we already heard from, but he was a, just a champion for um, helping with the fundraising. Um, uh, Chris Funk, I'm not sure he's on, but he was really helpful too. Jeff Mornefeld, uh, if you could just step on and take a bow for your efforts in, in helping us with the fundraising. I, I just want you to know, when you called me about this, it was like, no, I got too much going on. But then that conversation led me to, I've had some incredible conversations with people back from our CCPY days, and it was like a love fest. <laughs> so the idea is that this was not a challenge. It was for y'all, but it wasn't a challenge. It really was an opportunity to be reconnected to some of the best years of many of our lives and on this at the same time some of the young people i'm looking right at um uh, yvonne sitting right there she's in the dead center of my screen and you know, yvonne was a youth in our program and then on the board and now here she sits in this and she's a school teacher now to, to see that kind of impact and to see this work carrying that forward i'm thrilled and thank you patty for sticking your neck out and following through thank you jeff Ivana is the next person I want to uh, have take a bow. Just so Yvonne was actually helped on the fundraising team, but she was also a participant in the four days. Hi, everybody. Thank you. Thank you for your help, Yvonne. Um, Mike Shout, are you on the call? Um, okay, so the other people I want to thank really quickly, Tan Huen. Ben, Todd Beechamp, uh, Lenny Ludwig, and Chris Hargett, you all were so helpful in getting this whole thing launched. So I just want you to know how much I appreciate your support. And again, I want to thank Vincent Lowe for producing uh, tonight's video. Um, okay, so what I'd like to do now is to open it up to our participants. Um, this is an opportunity for you to um, thank our community for the investment they made in you. So I know that sometimes the work you do can maybe feel thankless. And um, I want you to know that, that, that the community really values the work you do and they're willing to actually back it up with their contribution. So um, if there's anyone wants to share, you know, anything that you got from the course that, um, make a difference for the future of our district or for our students or even just for you yourself and your life. Um, I'm just kind of open the floor to whoever would like to share. You can either raise your hand or just come off mute. And don't be shy because Lois, you know, she called on people the whole time. I, I'd rather not do that. Oh, I go. could go ahead. Sorry, Alan. No, go ahead. Uh, my name is Ava Chow. I teach science at Independence High School. Um, this is a really good opportunity and I really appreciate this because a lot of times we don't, um, we as in teachers, we're usually in the classroom uh, working or our virtual classrooms and correcting papers. And we don't really um, have a lot of professional development opportunity working with administration and also CSEA employees. So this was a great opportunity in terms of um, what I was hoping to get out of it was building new relationships 
And I feel like in the workshop, the best parts were when we got to go to our breakout rooms and practice these ex- communication exercises with Ren is, was randomly assigned with um, other people in the room. So one person um, that I got to talk with was Sharon Cavaro um, at the district office. And um, we had to do this exercise that was like two minutes of just staring at each other and not saying anything. And um, it was perplexing at first, but after a while it became easier. And uh, it was a, it felt really warm and to talk to her and get to know her that um, I do want to reach out and talk to her in, more in the future. So I appreciate this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you, Ava. <laughs> Who's next? So I'll go ahead. So as Patty said, this was my second time through. I was part of the original cohort two and a half years ago. And to say that this work is transforming, you know, when, when people hear that word, it's like, yeah, yeah, it is transforming. Um, it transformed my relationship with our superintendent, um, a counselor, I'm the head counselor at Silver Creek High School, but I've also been involved in the union for probably 25, 28 years. I don't, can't even keep, remember anymore. And, and um, after going through this, um, the superintendent and I, our relationship totally changed. It was amazing. And um, this time what I really got was, um, we talk about acknowledgement and I wrote a letter to somebody and I didn't have the opportunity to read it during the during our meeting. So when I spoke to her the other day, I said, could I just read my letter to you? And the, the, the appreciation of, from her where she talked about, you have no idea I needed this right now and how heart felt it was. It was heartfelt from me and it was received in a heartfelt way. And it's somebody that I, we've had a few bumps over the years. And um, I, it, it, I can't even put it into words, the difference that this work makes. And um, I've been trying to get more involved. I've done some landmark stuff that Patty has told me about. And it's just I'm just amazed and thank you, thank you, thank you, because the ones who are really gonna benefit from all this is our students. So um, I cannot tell you enough how much I appreciate your support. And, um, and for those of you that attended for taking the leap of faith and joining us. Thank you. And Patty, and Patty to you always. Mm -hmm. um, Without you, this would not have happened. And thank you so much. My pleasure. Now, if any, if any of the sponsors want to uh, respond at any point, feel free to do that. I'm gonna leave the floor open. Who else would like to share? Is there any? Anyone can share anything? Um, oh, Dave, can you grab that? Um, at the end of the training, Laura, Lois asked us a question. What, what are you leaving here with that you didn't have before? Anybody wants to share anything like that that you got? Um, what did you I, leave the four days? I could share if- Yeah, go ahead. So, um, I think at the end of last year and into this year, um, I felt such huge tension between all the all the stakeholders in the district that I just felt like I had a knot in my stomach and I just felt so sick out. And our mindfulness trainer talked about mirror, mirror neurons and how if we're not in our right mind, we can't teach our students. And I couldn't figure out why I was having such a disaster of a year this year. 
Um, I've never dropped this many students in my life out of my program. I've never had this many students failing and not attending and whatever. And I was just really distraught. And then after I went to this training, I just, I don't know, it's like something shifted in me. And this week I've like, I've, I just feel like this total connection with the students. Um, I, I don't know, I put out an email and I just did like an open zoom today and like all, all these girls showed up and it was just great. And I was just, I was just really practicing the listening instead of really having an agenda, just listening. And that was so much of what we learned. And, and also, um, I just felt like there was a, a softening of all the players and in the district and everybody just maybe just some healing of the relationship. Some apologies were made, some forgiveness probably took place. And, um, and I, and I just feel like, like I always say when I'm stressed out, it filters down to the kids. And so just us coming together as kind of like a big family, you know, it, it just, I feel like we're working together. It's not CSE over there, EST over there, the admins over there. It's like, we're all together, like feeling close together now. And I just think that made such a huge difference. And I just want to say just the fact that the sponsors put up that much money, like it just touched my heart so much. And it inspired me that there are people in the community that care that much about education and us and what we're doing. And um, I just want to thank you so much, especially, especially Patty for organizing all of this and Lois, of course, too. And all the people who gave, just thank you so much. It really will make a difference. Thank you. I'll say something, Patty. Yes, please. Justin. I'm just really, really touched by, um, I mean, what? I did this work when I was 19 and um, that was a long time ago. And um, I, I just can't even believe that that an entire district took this on. I'm, 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 I'm completely moved by all of you who took a stand for this a whole new form of way of communication and no, a whole new education um, of this landmark education, this Vanta group education, like that you guys stood for this and to bring a new education into our, in our into our community and to have gotten this many people. I never thought this was possible. So I just want to acknowledge all of you for for just believing that this mattered. And I know it will make a difference in the kids because I did it since I was 19 and it's changed, it, it completely changed my life. So I just, I just want to acknowledge you guys for, for um, Patty, for you thinking it was possible and then using the, the technology to do it and the whole team supporting you. So. Good job. Thank, Thank you. you. I hope we can get it into all the districts in our valley. <laughs> That's my hope. Thank you. Hello, uh, my name is Annabelle Velasquez. I'm the registrar at um, Ayerba Buena High School, and I'm part of the first um, core group. Um, when I went to um, when I went to this training, I felt that um, it felt really good. But the only thing is that there was only the group of us. So I really, um, I learned a lot, but I felt that it was something that it was never going to be happening at the district level. So saying that, I want to thank um, Patty for making it possible because I really thought it was a mission impossible. Um, uh, and everybody, everybody that donated money whether whatever amount of money was, thank you very much. Um, you actually made this possible. And um, oh, I'm just gonna get emotional. <laughs> I didn't wanna do this. <laughs> but um, the acknowledgement part is something that, um, that teachers do get a lot because you work with the students every day in and out, but we work behind you know, and I'm in the office and just the acknowledgement for the board member, Lorena Chavez, it's just like amazing. I never thought that I, that I will make a little difference on somebody's life, but her acknowledgement, acknowledgement meant a lot to me. So thank you everybody that donated. Thank you to Patty and thank you to everybody that, um, that decided to stick to the four days, um, to the four day and hopefully um, it did help you a little bit, 
to um, to make a difference. Thank you. Thanks, Annabelle. Uh, good evening, everyone. My name is Teresa Marquez, and I'm the Associate Superintendent of Educational Services. Um, first of all, thank you for your generosity and your contribution um, in believing in us as a district that um, we would be able to see value uh, in this work. I can tell you that we, we definitely did. Um, and in the spirit of, of the training, I, I hope I'm not like infringing Lewis or, or, or copywriting, but um, you know, one of the, the things that, one of the exercises that we were asked to do is to kind of talk about what we came into the program to accomplish, what we actually, you know, accomplished. And um, I didn't get an opportunity um, to, to share that, you know, with the group, but I, but I do want to take an opportunity to share it now um, and say that, you know, initially when I came to, to the program, thinking what I was going to accomplish, you know, and, and really hopeful was uh, uh, to learn how to improve the relationships between district leadership and our bargaining unit leadership members, because that was really um, important, I think, at, at the core. Um, what I actually came away with was a better understanding of how my own actions um, and the language I choose to use contribute um, to the us versus them narrative. Um, and I'm still working on how I plan to use that, but really it's, it's in being able to acknowledge, which I think uh, folks have said this here, the um, acknowledgement piece and being mindful of the words that I use and the actions that I take that further contribute to the us versus them narrative. Um, the impact that I think is possible is to create a sense of unity, which will allow for the work of building the equitable communities um, to truly uh, be something that we can say we're proud of as part of our student community. Um, and the last piece I want to say is that you know, in the moment of the training, you're offering acknowledgments and you feel really good. And then you wonder, well, what's going to happen after? Well, Alan happened after. Um, I was the phone call that he made. Um, and so that really was um, just kind of something that um, had me, you know, got me thinking about what is possible when even after the four days, um, he still said, hey, I'm not going to keep this letter to myself. I'm going to go and share it with you, Teresa. Um, and so it really did mean a lot to me that um, he didn't have to do that. He just had, you know, he could have just kept it in his notebook. Um, but he actually um, took the time to, to connect with me um, and read that letter to me. So it did mean a lot. So thank you, Ellen. I, I want to acknowledge you for, for doing that for me. Thank you, Teresa. I love working with you. Thank you. Thank you both. Yeah, I want to um, I want to follow up with um, what Teresa said because in my mind, uh, Glenn and Teresa and district management and myself um, really tried to kind of implement this before this training all went down, and I think we have um, tried really hard to collaborate and cooperate, and I have been really appreciative of how things have been with them. And uh, the one thing that I did learn from this though is but besides that, and, and that was that the things that you do both positively and negatively have an effect on people that you're not aware of. And um, sometimes they're negative and you don't get it. And sometimes they're really positive and you don't get it. So the breakout rooms were very helpful for that. Um, not only for the positive ones, but for the negative ones. Uh, to understand those things. Um, so I'm very uh, glad to have this opportunity. And I want to thank everybody that's here um, that helped make this happen, uh, especially uh, Mr. Leon, the big old cheese president back in the day. Mr. Leon, don't think I'm not a history guy and I follow how this district used to be years ago and I do my best and uh, we're trying to make it better. Can you let everybody know who you are? I'm the president of the East Side Teachers Association, following in very good footsteps. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for that. I'm Glenn Vanderzee. I'm the aforementioned uh, Glenn that Jack just referred to. I'm the uh, Associate Superintendent of Human Resources. And, uh, you know, personally, I took uh, a lot of things away just about becoming a better listener, uh, owning my rackets, if that makes sense. People can nod that they know what a racket is now. And, you know, I'm trying to not just call somebody on theirs now. Uh, 
I taught my children what a racket is and they're um, calling me on all mine now. I can hardly get through a conversation. Um, and I would like to thank the members of Eastside and what Jack said before, because we do, Intel has helped us tremendously, but we do have a desire to build equitable communities and we have been looking for ways to engage. And if nothing else, this is an opportunity for us to just stop away from our actual issues and say, let's just engage around engagement and how, how are we gonna show up with each other? And whether we don't know what the outcome or the impact's gonna be, we, we get that if we engage better, it'll be positive. And so the donors, I wanna thank you for two things. One, we're a, we're a lean, stretched out, underinvested in industry and education. And as educators, we kind of take that as part of the, whether it's martyrdom, volunteerism, or just the work to do, uh, we take that on. But I wanna thank you for allowing us to be invested in for four days and allowing us to just sit with each other and not, be, and not get stressed out and be able to talk. But I also want to thank you for your financial contribution because there's other people in the district who are tied to our work. And in an under-resourced uh, industry like ours, it would be very easy for people who didn't participate to use the cost of the program as something that they got that the rest didn't, or to dismiss the growth uh, that happened um, by saying, yeah, they got the growth, but look what it cost. It could have done something else. And so by just being able to take the cost of the program off the table, it will allow us to share the good that occurred with this group over four days and take it out without even having to address the issue of cost or what other resource could have been invested in. So thank you for that. The thing that I'm really taking away and I'm gonna say this to everybody, uh, investor and colleague is just that notion that we left with is just the notion of breakdowns. And that I don't wanna say I'm looking forward to them, but I am definitely uh, um, expecting them and um, looking forward to how we respond them in a way that keeps us working to building equitable communities and at least having that language now or an awareness that that's what's happening in this moment and that we have the power to address it. So thanks to all of you for your contribution, whether financial time or just willingness to be present in this experience and carry the work forward. Thank you, Glenn. Patty and Stewie again, I'd like to say something about- Please. From the point of view of being a funder, Glenn and everybody, um, when Patty came to me with the project and with the breakdown of no funds, um, I really saw that, that, that this, is, this is an incredible opportunity for the community. I mean, from my vantage point, I was kind of happy that it happened because, you know, kids get educated over there off in that corner and we don't really see what it takes and they are our future the the people who you have in your hands every day every year they are my, they are my future it's not my it's not my genetic kids per se it's all the kids of this valley not to mention the country but this valley that that are the, that are the the quality of the future I can expect, and so I just thought it it had to be that the community stepped in. <laughs> this is our future, and I think uh, I hope that the other funders got that got that out of it. I am I am bonded to my community at a whole different level out of this opportunity. Another reminder that every breakdown is an incredible opportunity for the miraculous to show up. And that would be also Patty Cortezzi, the miraculous. That's it. Thank you. She totally is, isn't she? All right, who's next? All right, yeah, this is Vincent. Um, on the grid, you see me as Patty. I'm using her account to produce the call. Um, I want, I, I, first of all, acknowledge what Julia was just saying. We, one who understands that the work you educators do, the, those of you who are educators, has everything to do with the future of our society. And the evidence is all around us as you look and, and listen to what do we as a culture know? What do we as a culture think? It's driven by how well 
have we had or what opportunities have we had for education? So for someone like me, there's a hunger to make a difference in this. And you guys provided that by, if you participated, being willing to participate, if you organized it, by presenting the opportunity and allowing us as community members to step in and, and contribute. And I got a lot out of this course, not as a participant, but from you guys, what you've shared, what you will share, and most importantly, what you'll share in your work with your colleagues. Because that, that line item thinking, we can use this money for X or we can use this money for Y, and the people that went to this course, they got something, what about everyone else? No, everyone got something out of this. I got something. I don't even live in that part of the Silicon Valley. I live in Santa Rosa, but I feel the power of what you guys accomplished and what you created. And my wish is for this to be everywhere. So Patty, you have a lot of work to do, but thank you for where you've started and what you've done to now. Thank all of you. Thank you. Hi everybody, this is Yvonne. Um, hi to my CCPY family. Uh, it was it's really nice seeing all of you um, uh, through Zoom. I I love I love seeing all of you. So hi everybody. Um, like some of you know, I'm basically a product of of this this work, and, and it it's life changing. Like I said, I I got to experience this as a youth, and, and the reason why I'm here is a hundred percent because of the people that were behind me. And in this call, there's a lot of people that were behind me. So I will always be extremely grateful for that opportunity. And that's why it always moves my heart to know that there's people in the community that care. There's people in the community that are willing to go that extra mile and invest in, invest in kids like who I was, um, you know, some years ago and stuff and and this this is a result like this is what you can create you know you can create people who can become um essential members of our communities and and i'm always glad to to have that and i'm you know for me i think doing this type of work has definitely been a third eye like i don't know if a lot of you after after this training you literally felt like you had a third eye but that's that's how i felt when when i started you know engaging in this type of work that you literally you know become so aware of so many things around you and and your potential and and the capacity that you have so i you know i i really want to thank Patty because this was always my dream. Like I remember talking to um, some of the coaches that I had and telling them like, imagine if, if teachers can have this training, like imagine how powerful that, that would be. So, you know, Patty helped create that dream into a reality. So I'm, I'm extremely grateful and, and know that, you know, it's due to the work that I've done. Anytime a student comes into my room, they're whole and complete. And, and that just makes my classroom amazing because when, when those students come into my classroom, I am working with whole and complete children that do some amazing things in the world that just inspire me every single day. So just, just know that, you know, that this investment is definitely changing lives. And I like to call this type of things a positive domino effect. You know, something happened and now there's many things following through and know that this is following all the way to the classroom. So thank you everybody who, who participated and who, who donated money, it really means a lot. And like I said, it always warms my heart to see a lot of my CCPY family. So very nice seeing all of you. So Yvonne, could you please let everybody know what your role is today? So I am a teacher at Yerba Buena High School and um, I teach English and AVID, and I was a youth in, in a program that did similar work to, to the work that, that you guys got to experience. So we are at uh, Yerba Buena High School and at Oberfell, and if you guys have heard about CCPY or, or Bright Futures, this is basically what, what we do. So now I'm a teacher, but I was, you know, I was in a classroom, I, I like the students that you guys have, so. So yeah, that's Thanks that's where on. I am now with our garden because we have a garden at YB. <laughs> FYI, <laughs> we have chickens. <laughs> so if anybody wants to buy some eggs, let me know because 
we are struggling with this pandemic. So we have organic eggs. <laughs> yeah. Side note, they have an incredible garden project at Yerba Buena if you ever want to go see it. Who's next? Well, I'd like to say a few things. Uh, I was so excited when Patty uh, proposed this project to me. Um, all of my, our children went to Silver Creek High School and got a great education there. I was involved in the PTSA there and um, I became a middle school teacher. So I know what the teachers go through. Um, and then I was introduced to this work um, uh, by Jeff. And so, uh, and I knew Yvonne in the program. Uh, Johnson is one of the people that um, participated. So it was really exciting for me to reach out to these people that um, knew what transformation was and to present that and give the school district the opportunity. Um, about 10 years ago, my husband and I were in a I guess in a, in a weekend like you went through, getting ready to do a CCBY or that was California Community Partners for Youth and uh, which is Bright Futures today. And 10 years ago, we said, we, we help 30 youth uh, get goals, create goals, uh, produce these goals, have transformation in their life but what we're only doing 30 or 50 youth, we need to do more. We need to do 5,000. We need to do a whole district. So 10 years ago, this was a little seed that was planted. And I know that this will filter down to everyone that you touch as you go forward. And uh, the, the students are going to be um, recipients of all the work that you do. So. Thank you everyone that participated in this weekend. And uh, I know it's going to benefit your personal life as well as all the work you do in the district. So thank you. Thank you, Karen. Who else would like to share? Anything that you took away, anything that surprised you, uh, anything that you've been able to use since the training ended? So Patty, I, this is Vicki Salgado talking, and I just want, I'm uh, one of the individuals that has been with uh, CCPY and also with um, Bright Futures for now eight years. But first I wanna take an opportunity to acknowledge all of you that participated in the program, just to say thank you. Thank you for stepping up. Thank you for making a difference in our community. Those of you who are administrators, teachers, I work actually in San Francisco um, with the Catholic Archdiocese. So we have four high schools. So I can definitely relate to what you're all dealing with, with COVID and everything that you are dealing with, having distant learning, dealing with contracts, understand all of that. But really for you to step up and say yes and giving of yourself to make a difference with our youth in the future. Patty, this does not surprise me that you were able to see this all the way through. So proud of you as well as Yvonne and everything that you've been able to accomplish. But just for all of you to open yourselves, open your heart to be able to make a difference. And I, I wish nothing but the best for all of you to be able to continue doing the work and influencing those young people to be able to want to see more for themselves and to live a life that they love. Thank you. Thank you, Vicki. Who else would like to share who was part of our weekend, part of part of our training cohort? Hi, um, Gurenberg, Principal Independence High School. Um, as a product of the district, I, I graduated from Silver Creek. Um, I remember some of my best memories in high school and the value um, of the education I got there and just the investment of everyone in the community 
and the experiences that I was given. And going through this is the reminder of kind of, we're all in this together. We're all focused around doing the best we can for our students, regardless of who we are. Our goal is the same. We, we are trying to prepare that future and trying to just invest in, in our students in our valley and everyone here. Um, it was four intense days, but it was kind of four days also of just focusing back on who we are and how we're working together, regardless of who we are, and just trying to do the best we can and improving and preparing our students. Thank you, Bjorn. Good evening, everybody. Uh, Vito Kiala, the principal at Overfeld High School. And I, I just have to start by saying it's so nice to see so many people I haven't seen in a long time. It's well, it's some of you that I saw for four days straight, but a lot of you I haven't seen for a long time. So it's uh, what, a, what a wonderful gift that is that you've given us. Um, and I really appreciate it. And it's also a gift to see you see you um, because I remember CCPY and of course, Bright Future is still happening now. So it's wonderful to have you all here. Um, I think for me, what, what surprised me was how how personal the work was. Um, I really did expect it to be, to help us bring together, or bring us together and help us, you know, try to solve our problems. But I didn't realize that most of that work was going to be personal. And, and I have to tell you, like, you don't really realize the impact until you get out of the program and spend a few days at work, like going, oh, there's a, there's a racket or um, like, acknowledging people and being really intentional and purposeful about taking time to acknowledge others and um, adjusting listening intentionally, uh, not listening to get your way, but listening to understand and see how the world occurs to other people. Um, I fully expect uh, those breakdowns, um, but I really also appreciate and acknowledge that we have a common language and a, and a unified approach to solving the problems. And so I'm, um, I'm optimistic for us as a district and our ability to work together, but I'm also like profoundly moved myself. So thank you all for that work and for contributing to our work. Thank you, Vito. We have uh, just a few minutes left. I would love to hear from any of the sponsors that wanna share either what you're present to tonight or, or what, you know, what inspired you to to participate in the in the project, especially if you're maybe not familiar with this work, or I don't know, even if you are. So sponsors, if you would like to share, please. I'll jump in. Hi. Hi, Johnson. Yeah. Um, so so yeah, I, I was um I I my wife and I sponsored part of this event. Um and it was not, it was no hesitation for us because at least for me, I, I have so much, so many ties with this work in general. I've done um, landmark education when I was in my early twenties and I got to be a mentor for CCPY then became Bright Futures. And I was able to, to see the work on myself. I was able to see what it was like to impact a youth who was struggling to find themselves. And, and um, you know, back when I did it, did this work in Landmark? It was kind of a, it was kind of like an urban legend, you know, the way they talk about it, where they would say, you know, one day, we, you know, just imagine one day that this, this like encompasses like your whole neighborhood, and then imagine that encompasses your district, and and I thought like, yeah, that that would be pretty amazing, just like, you know, going to the moon would be amazing. So when Patty reached out and she's like, hey, we're we're doing this, and. I, of course, of course I do it. Yeah, I didn't even, I didn't even hesitate. And um, you know, to me, this is uh, very touching. And uh, and just the the little boy in me is like, wow, this is what it's like to to um, hit a new planet. And and I want to thank all of you that stayed in the course. I get that it's not easy. I've heard that a few times. And uh, you know, bringing back the metaphor, it's like it's like we had to stay on course and. Some planets had to align to make it happen. And it's just beautiful to see it all come together. So thank you. Thank you, Johnson. Thank you and Karen both for your commitment to the work. Our pleasure. <clears throat> Patty, 
I'd like to jump in. Hey, go ahead, Jan. Hi, thanks. My name is Jan Carruthers. I live in Portland and uh, am part of the uh, <laughs> juggernaut that helped to create or recreate CCPY in San Jose. I would like to really acknowledge Lois Yoon for uh, the work that you did. Obviously, you got the job done from listening to the participants and listening to um, what's possible. I can only imagine how challenging it is to work with 60 people on Zoom for four days. Um, and, and the fact that so many people were touched so deeply is a testament to the miracle that, that this platform is actually, we all talk about Zoom fatigue, but think about what it would be like if we didn't have it. I'm just blown away by how, how valuable this work is, that it can be reduced by all the distance and all the pixels and you know on and on and on and still transform lives and districts. Thank you for so many wonderful faces and Patty for your incredible work. I got to hear the other end of some of those phone calls and have admired you from the beginning and congr congratulations on the election. Thank you, Jan and Jeff, of course. Melissa, did you want to respond to Ebony? Well, I, um, I think what I would say is that um, doing the program uh, at the school district was kind of a completion for me because my, uh, both of my parents were teachers. So, you know, it, I, I remember, I remember all the times they came home and they, you know, they were in a teacher's meeting and they had their complaints about how it was and things like that. But ultimately both of them really uh, loved teaching. So for me to be able to lead something it's like giving back to the to education and and my parents. It really just completed something for me, and I'm I've always been present to what it takes to be a teacher, what it takes to work in education, and also the difference that you make. And that's really you know at at this point in time in our um, country, I think contributing to the future of contributing to the students who are the future is the biggest job there is to do. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Lois. Yeah. So if anybody has a burning desire, this is your opportunity before we close it out. I have a burning desire. Please. <laughs> so uh, Pat, Patty first approached me with this vision and this possibility almost three years ago. Um, and um, we have gone through point after point of, um, you know, it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> it looked impossible uh, again and again, and again and again, the one who kept breathing that in and then breathing out of uh, a, a real possibility was Patty. She held it. She believed it. When she was discouraged, she got herself regrounded, and it it took so many not just steps but quarter steps and one eighth steps and coming back the next day when you knew it couldn't happen but still coming back. Uh, I have witnessed something that is really miraculous. What a human being can do, you know when you really take it to heart and when you really believe and when you won't give up. And Patty, I just salute you. It's just been amazing to witness. And it's, my heart has been singing this whole call, just mm -hmm. hearing people share, because that's been my vision too. But if it had been up to me, it would have slid off track. It was Patty who really just held it and continued to hold it. And this is part of your, really a profound part of your legacy, Patty Cortez, of your servant leadership in our district. That's it. Thank you. Great. Thank you, Manuel. Amen. So, could I, uh, I have a burning desire after listening to Manuel. Quick one. Yes, please, okay. Nick. Um, you know, 
it makes me so proud of Eastside and um, what has happened. And I think of that idea of, you know, standing on the shoulders of those who came before us. Uh, at one time, uh, Patty was also involved with uh, uh, a youth at risk mm -hmm. program, uh, Santa Clara Valley Youth at Risk Program. Uh, that we operated. There was a 10-day course, believe it or not, a residential for students uh, and uh, Patty involved in that. And then uh, I know that the, the uh, CPY uh, 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 program. And, you know, it's always been happening in East Side, I mean, uh, uh, a lot of people uh, where there always seems to be so much need, but this need was always fulfilled. And to listen to uh, what what you've created now, and to uh, I just really find it so wonderful to acknowledge all of you who have done this and. Um, I know that it will have a, a, a profound effect. It will continue to grow and get greater. And to think of being able to be a part of it, and it seems like East San Jose uh, doesn't get the credit uh, for all this magnificence that you create and uh, it, it makes me so proud just to know all of you that you've done this. And like, it's just another step in um, bringing uh, to the young people in East San Jose, uh, um, something they would have never gotten unless they have known you. And I just uh, so proud of all of you that uh, I had to speak up. I mean, and, and Manuel, you know, I've said this in front of Manuel. Uh, uh, we were at Oberfeld High School together and Patty was a committed partner and, and trainer in uh, the Santa Clara Valley Youth Foundation. And I mean, uh, all of you have been unstoppable and uh, I, I just want to acknowledge you for your creation and your tenacity not to buy into the BS of our society. And uh, you're really making a difference. And I'm just so proud to know all of you. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And for those who don't know, Nick Leon was my teacher at Overfeld High School <laughs> back in the last century. <laughs> Abby, this is Shasta. I have a burning chair. I just want to say that um, that the, I, I, one of my best friends is a single mom of six kids, and they all went to Eastside Union High School, Oak Grove, and um, her name is Kanisha Howell. Four of her six kids are in college. One has graduated. I sponsored her in the forum three years ago. Their whole life is transformed. Five out of six of them have done the forum. And they were all like in and out of Bill Wilson and they were all youth at risk. Every single person who did this this weekend, all of you who did this, you are going to be able to change these people's lives by listening for their possibility. That's what I did for this mom. And all of those kids, it's gonna, everybody has the possibility of anything they dream of. Doesn't matter wherever they come from. And I, I, I'm so proud to be, to just, have been a part of this and to know this is happening in, in, in our planet, in our community. I didn't, I just think this is a true miracle. So I, I want to continue being a part of this with all of you. Thank you. You made a difference and on their wall, in their house, they have on their wall that they are the family, the possibility of being integrity, of integrity and authenticity. They have a future that their family's living into that they didn't have. And it came from this work. And that's the possibility for all these kids to have a future to live into. So wow, thank you. Thank, thank you, Shasta. Okay. So we are, um, I, I 
imagine that we could probably keep going because this is so inspiring. Um, and yet I, I want to honor everybody's time. So thank you so much for joining us tonight. Thank you. Every single person on this call had a major imp, uh, contribution to make toward, toward this happening. And so I thank you for that contribution. And I um, offer you my commitment and my invitation to keep this work alive. And I'm not sure what it looks like exactly from the from the participant side from in the district. I'm not sure what it looks like from the community, but I, I know that if we stand with for it and stand together, uh, we will create something amazing. So thank you again, everybody. And um, really uh, be looking for um, our shared communications about what we create next. Thank you. Great. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank you, Patty. Good night. Good night, everybody. Oh, you say. Good night. <laughs> Congratulations, Patty. <laughs>